Most games seem to only have a lifespan of about a year until their success and audience begin to dwindle. Remember Battleborn? No, of course not. With the video game industry rapidly growing, competition is fierce in finding the next best game. Fortnite, however, is still surpassing new releases after two years from its debut. The game has more than 40 million active players every month, while games like For Honor have 1 million a month and Dota 2 has 11 million. Although there are many criticisms from the community, there's no denying that Fortnite has achieved new heights for the gaming industry. From being a household name to hosting stadium tournaments with A-list celebrities, Fortnite has done it all. But why is Fortnite outrageously popular, and how does it continue to retain its status? Epic Games has accomplished so much by doing a lot of things right for the game. From how they choose to release it, how they maintain it, and the original concepts that they incorporated into it. Here are a few reasons why Fortnite is the number one game. Alright, so the first one is pretty obvious. It's free. Everyone loves free games. Since Fortnite is free to play, that means it's also commitment free to download. This free game phenomenon eliminates the pain of purchase for new players, and once they suck you in, they get you with their in-game cosmetics. This tactic has influenced other games such as Fortnite's competitor Apex Legends. Despite saving $60 on the initial download, gamers end up spending an average of $85 on in-game purchases. This made Epic Games over $1 billion in one year. That explains all the new looks available with each game update, not that anyone's complaining. The next big reason why Fortnite is number one is that it's cross-platform. Every gamer knows how lonely it can be when grinding a game alone. Don't you hate it when you can't get carried by your friends on PC? Well, Fortnite has solved this problem. It allows players from all platforms to play together simultaneously. Right now, Fortnite is one of the only two games to have full cross-platform support. Fortnite hasn't forgotten about its Switch players, who downloaded Fortnite over 2 million times within 24 hours of its announcement. Crossplay gaming is undoubtedly the next big approach for upcoming games, and with those kinds of numbers, Fortnite is already pressuring other games to go in the same direction. On to the next reason is building. The building aspect of Fortnite greatly distinguishes it from the Battle Royale competitors. The use of walls, ramps, floors, and pyramids allows players to create an ever-changing landscape, making every single match unique and exciting. It challenges players to thoughtfully navigate their way through complicated situations, using their building skills to take advantage of positions and strategically take high ground. If you guys are interested in getting better at building, please check out ProGuides.com where we offer amazing courses on how to build and become a better Fortnite player with some of the most popular Fortnite professionals like Mongrel. Building is what's unique about Fortnite, and many people are so good at building now that it kind of makes Fortnite a difficult game. Check out that Denver guy's insane building here. He uses builds to get above his opponents, giving him the opportunity to hit an easy shot overhead. The building dynamic of Fortnite makes it less likely for people to get drained from playing numerous matches with the same repetitive scenes. This is a feature that keeps the game interesting and holds the attention of its users for long periods of time. Another reason is the wide range target audience. Epic has created an improved Fortnite to appeal to all generations, allowing them to reach a wide audience. I mean, nobody asked for Peely, but now that he exists, I will protect that fruit with my life, and I don't care if he's evil. This seemingly wholesome being and its fellow bright and cartoon-style skins are quite lighthearted when compared to the overly realistic FPS titles on the market. But don't be fooled by the game's adorable pets and snazzy skins. Behind the colorful, cartoony art style is a violent, last-man-standing battle. The difficulty to reach expert level skill make it extremely competitive. Even those who criticize the game for being obnoxiously childlike in appearance know that Fortnite is not an easy game to excel in. Epic has introduced a variety of new game modes to appeal to those who have different skill levels or have different preferences for gaming objectives. For instance, there are a ton of game modes similar to Team Deathmatch, allowing players to build and eliminate opponents while still being able to respawn. This is good for those who want to practice their skills against other players without having to continuously wait for a new game to start after being eliminated. The new game mode Arena has finally answered many of our prayers. It allows people to rank up and qualify to join the Fortnite World Cup, and now we can pretend we are all good enough to win $1 million. Epic has made great efforts to have consistent tournaments for players to test their abilities against the best. These modes are where you will find highly skilled players and some of the biggest names in Fortnite.
Epic adds updates to the game every couple of weeks, introducing new items into the game and map changes. These updates keep the game moving, encouraging players to come back with a new experience. One week you're battling on pirate ships, and a month later you're fighting on a fighter jet. That's just the kind of variety on Fortnite that has made it so popular. Another reason why Fortnite got so popular was actually Ninja playing with Drake. While Fortnite's popularity was never disputed in the gaming community, the game became absolutely mainstream when Ninja had a streaming session with Drake. You know, the one with the sweater. During the event, Ninja had an average view count of 630,000. It broke many boundaries for the gaming community and set records like never before. Soon, everyone and their mom were curious and concerned about Fortnite. In fact, Prince Harry tried to ban it because it's so addicting. But even he couldn't stop Fortnite from its insane rise in popularity, and more and more celebrities wanted in on the trend. Another reason is that it improved the esports community. Despite Ninja's a little bit cringy New Year's Eve fail, Fortnite's mainstream appeal has helped to improve the image of gaming. It popularized streaming as a career, and now even little kids are making six figures off of it. Inspired by Ninja's 14 million followers and other popular Fortnite streamers like Tfue and Tim the Tatman, more and more gamers have taken to streaming as careers and hobbies, and we think this is awesome. There's no doubt that Fortnite has revolutionized the gaming and streaming industry, and they've given us our lord and savior, Peely. What are some reasons why you guys think Fortnite has been around for so long? Do you guys think that it's here to stay? Do you guys think it's going to be a fad? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. If you guys are interested in getting better at Fortnite, then please visit ProGuides.com, where we offer a ton of courses with the best pro players. That's it for our video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and good luck in your next games.